The Layers tool is used to modify what takeoff is actually displayed within on-screen takeoff. It gives you the ability to hide specific takeoff from your plans without actually deleting it. This can be useful when trying to print customized takeoff, or can also help with decluttering your plans for easier viewing or editing. The first step in using Layers in OST is to display the Layers window. You can enable the Layers window in one of three ways. First, you can go to the View menu and then select the Layers window option towards the bottom of the list. You can also see that off to the side, there is a Ctrl plus L hotkey combination listed. So that means you can also activate the window by pressing Ctrl and L. The last way to activate the window is to select the Layers button in the toolbar along the right-hand side of the screen. Now, the Layers window displays in the bottom left corner of the screen. There are three standard default layers that display, and they are highlighted blue. They are hard-coded into the system and cannot be modified. The image layer is what holds the actual plan image you uploaded. The annotation layer contains any annotations you add to the image, such as text, highlights, or shapes, as well as the image legend. And the default layer stores any takeoff not directly assigned to another layer. So basically, the takeoff isn't attached to the plan itself. It's hovering over the plan on its own layer. The same concept also applies for the annotations you add to the job. Because of this, the program allows you to customize specific layers for specific pieces of takeoff. You can make layers specific to trades or for item categories such as types of walls or ceilings. They can even be used to show different phases of construction when used in tandem with zones. Essentially, they can be set up arbitrarily on the job to meet your needs. Now, let's create some new layers to use on the job. There are two ways to create new layers. The first way is to add layers from within the Condition Properties window. Double-click on a condition within the Conditions panel to open the Condition Properties window. In the top right corner of this window is the Layer field. Here is where you can assign a new layer. Simply type the name of the layer to which you want to assign this condition, and then press Enter. If this is a new layer, a pop-up then displays asking if you'd like to add the layer. Select Yes. The layer is then added to your Layers table and is available to be used throughout the bid. Press the Select button to assign it to this condition. You can also add layers from directly within the Layers window in the bottom left of the screen. Simply press the blue plus sign at the bottom of the Layers window, just like you would when adding a new condition. A new blank line then displays in the Layers table. Just type in the name of the new layer and press Enter. This adds the layer to the table. Note, however, that this only adds the layer itself to the job, but does not actually assign the layer to any of your conditions. To do that, you can open up the Condition Properties and use the Layer field like we previously discussed. The biggest difference now is that you can use the magnifying glass to the right of the Layer field to select the existing layer from your table. Or, you can select the Condition, or hold down the Control key and select multiple conditions from the Conditions panel on the left, and then right-click. Choose Set Layer from the drop-down, and then your list of layers displays to the right of the option. Select the layer to which you want to assign the selected conditions. This assigns the layer to all of the selected conditions at once, and is definitely the fastest way to assign the same layer to multiple conditions. Once the layers have been created and assigned within a job, then you can begin using them for their intended purpose. To hide all the takeoff assigned to a layer, simply deselect the checkbox to the left of the layer within the Layers window. Notice that all of the associated takeoff then disappears. You can click the checkbox again to make the takeoff reappear. Additionally, there are buttons along the bottom of the layer window you can use as well. There is an option to uncheck all layers. This can be useful if you have a very large list and only need a few layers selected. It can minimize the number of necessary clicks to achieve your desired result. Additionally, there is a button to check all layers, which restores the image to its full view. Remember that as you deselect specific layers, it only affects their visual display. Your quantity results, though grayed out in the conditions panel, are still fully intact. You can simply reselect the layer to restore the takeoff as needed.